You're looking at a typical small pickup, right? Well, not quite. Listen closely. That's not an engine that you hear. That's only tire noise. There isn't any engine noise because this truck runs on electric power. It's a bonafide home-built truck from the hands of Paul Dozler, a Denison, Iowa farmer. Dozler got the idea for an electric truck in the mid-1980s, but he didn't build it until the mid-90s because of cost and what he figured was limiting technology. The DC motor mounts in the regular engine compartment along with two 6-volt batteries. The 12-volt battery remains on board to power accessories in the dashboard motor controls. Also under the hood are the alternator and the rheostat, which is actually the throttle. It works like this. Dozler explains other details of his handy invention. 26 volt battery hooked in series, and that gives you 120 volts. If you think the electric power in itself is a clever undertaking, look at this. Flip a simple control and bingo, a mini dump truck. The bed is raised by a three inch cylinder from a case combine and a pump from a Farmall H. Tucked underneath the box are 18 more six volt batteries. Some heavy duty ballast actually, each one weighs about 70 pounds. But that much juice is needed to give the truck a range of 50 to 60 miles between charges. Inside the cab looks more like an electric control panel than your typical pickup, as Dozler explains. You gotta use a vacuum pump for booster for your power brakes. And this gauge here shows what my 12 volt alternator is putting out and the condition of my battery. And this is my ampers on the 12 volt alternator showing how many amps it's putting out. And this is a temperature gauge here, which I can check the temperature on the motor, of the DC motor. And then I got a tachometer in here, which tells me how fast I'm running the electric motor. And then of course, this is my speedometer here, which is original. Of all the gauges, we found the fuel gauge, actually the juice gauge, the most clever. Green indicates plenty of charge. Yellow is the warning zone. And red means head for the nearest plug-in right now. This control box here, I can check each battery, standing still or going down the road or any time I want to check the voltage of each battery. So if you ever have one battery that's starting to go dead or weak, you can always check it first before you have any problems. Dozler receives tons of compliments on the vehicle and admits building it was a big job, but well worth it. As you listen to this beauty purr down the highway, you know he did a great job, all for about $5,000.